It's Thursday, March 16th, in absolutely incredible kid day. Welcome to this nighttime edition of the news from Miss Higgins' third period science class. I'm Julie Drew. And I'm Matt Jetta. Four years ago, Southwest Airlines and Yahoo and Company started Incredible Kid Day. Bosses urged employees to take 10 minutes out of their day to write an inspiring positive letter to a special child. You, get, you might get a letter today telling you how great you are, or you can support Incredible Kid Day by writing a letter of your own to a younger sibling or friend. We don't know if St. Patrick Day, if St. Patrick was an incredible kid. We do know that on March 17th, people celebrate his day by holding parades, wearing green, and hunting for leprechauns. But what do we really know about the man and the holiday? In anticipation of St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, March 17th, reporter Chrissy Budis has this report. Do you know when the first observance of St. Patrick's Day was? For some strange reason, I do. It was in 1737 in Boston. In St. Patrick's Day, it's one of those traditions where you wear green so nobody pinches you. What's the deal with the little leprechaun guys and the pots of gold? Well, Sarah, you see, St. Patrick was Irish slash Scottish. And the leprechaun is an Irish slash Scottish myth. The reason why St. Patrick's Day, the little leprechaun has a pot of gold, because a pot of gold is the most valuable thing on natural resource on Earth. It's a chemical compound, I believe it's compound 64 AG. Small people, it's, we, 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 we breathe air, and the, the short port, like small rocks, they carry them in their pockets. Do you happen to know why there's so much drinking done on uh, St. Patrick's Day? Actually, strangely, I know that too. <laughs> wow. That's because on St. Patrick's Day, we're observing the death of St. Patrick. And in Scotland and Ireland, there's a lot of drinking done in wakes. A green shell, a drunken stupor, followed by car accidents and really terrible Irish accents. Oh, not to mention a little kissing here and there, too. And have a good time. Miss Gording at the school store is celebrating St. Patrick's Day today and tomorrow. She has green carnations for $1.50 and green roses for $2.50. If you'd rather buy a balloon for yourself or some lucky lad or lassie, they cost $1 and $2.50. Don't procrastinate. Items will sell quickly, and once they are gone, they're gone. Coach LaRoche is looking for soccer equipment that belongs to the program. He wants us to remind all soccer players to bring back their equipment by, the next, by next Thursday, March 23rd. He is in room C-104. Miss Imperator is still signing up A students for auditions for the annual Ace on the Road talent show. You must sign up for an audition slot in room C109 if you want this to be include, included in this very special showcase. JoJo won't be auditioning for Ace on the Road, even though he is very talented and is featured in a new movie. It's be, that's because he is one of the dolphins featured in the IMAX movie Dolphins, which opens at the Museum of Science and Industry tomorrow. I think overall, I think that's what the film teaches people, um, that it's, it's not just science, but there's a lot of emotion and integrity involved and people have relationships with these animals. It took months to build Jojo's trust. Each day, he swam a little closer, but finally, we became good friends. Dolphins also features music by Grammy Award-winning artist Sting and is narrated by actor Pierce Brosnan. The filmmakers hope that the large screen format will deliver an experience in size, clarity, and impact unsurpassed by other documentaries on the subject. But they also want to move audiences to act. Dolphins still face serious threats to their survival. This is my main intention, to communicate with the public that the dolphin population is something that we should pay attention to. We should love dolphins in order to save them. They are intelligent, curious, and playful, and the film is a unique way to meet them face to face. If you have to watch your younger brother or sister this weekend, why not take him or her on a trip to Mosey? You can buy a combination ticket for, for the IMAX movie at the museum for only $13 for adults and $11 for anyone under 13. Remember to wear green tomorrow. As Danielle said, you'll get pinched if you forget. Tomorrow, Miss O'Bara's class will bring you the news and our new Friday feature, Top 10 Reasons 2. But you'll have to tune in tomorrow, if turn, tune in Friday at noon to hear the rest. We will. Bye for now. So long. <laughs>